Hi guys, I am Vishal Sharma from India and I am in astronomy from last 5 to 6 years. In this video today, I am going to talk about the eyepieces. Eyepieces from SV Learning Band. So, we will talk about how do you choose your eyepieces and what are the different specifications are. So guys, let's begin. So the first basic thing which you will need to know is that your telescope, this is the telescope, your telescope collects the light and the eyepiece at the back of this telescope that actually does the magnification, magnification of the object that you see in the sky. Different different objects in the sky require different magnification. You just not easily use one eyepiece for everything in the sky or for watching every object in the sky. You need to use different eyepieces of different different focal lengths. For example, deep space objects, which is known as DSO. DSO required low magnification but wide field of view. Whereas, if you compare it with the planetary view, then planetary view requires high power magnification. So if we use high power magnification then we can get the um, high planetary views. So IPS is generally uh, categorized into three different ranges. First is low power, second medium power and third is high power. Low power for DSOs that is the deep space objects. Second is medium power that is which is generally used for general use and the third one is high power. High power is basically used for the planetary. So planetary, if you want to get the planetary details more and more, then you have to use the high power eyepieces. You can also use the uh, 2x or 3x Warlow lenses to uh, double or triple the magnification of the eyepiece. So now, let me show you the SV Pony eyepieces. I have two eyepieces. First is 15mm and second one is 9mm. Let me show you. This is 15 mm ultra wide 68 degree eyepiece, and this one is 9 mm eyepiece. Both are from SV Boni band. You can see the code over the box. This is F9152C. This is the product code. It comes in the plastic pouch along with the caps on both sides. Silica gel is also there. So this one is 15 mm long eye relief multi coated 68 degree ultra wide lens. You can see this. So first let's talk about the magnification. What is the difference between this and the other magnification? This one is the second eyepiece which is 9mm. It comes in the plastic. Again with caps on both, both sides. This is where it is study. Oh. Now you can see the both high pieces together. Both are different in size and both are both have different viewing area. It has more viewing area and the 9mm has less viewing area as compared to this. So first thing is what is magnification? How you calculate the magnification? How you calculate the power of the eyepiece? So if you 
uh, read on this uh, uh, text it is written that 15 it is 15 mm with 68 degree ultraviolet 68 degree is actually apparent view so how we calculate the power of eye pieces this is 15 mm is focal length and 68 degree is the ultraviolet angle so there is a formula which is the simplest thing is we need to know is this this is 70 as a telescope and it is mounted on the Aftron mini tower this is the alt az means altitudinal and azimuthal uh, mount and uh, it tracks the object automatically so it is a go to mount and the telescope is meet 70 az 70 mm so its focal length is it is written here it is 600 mm how you calculate the magnification of your eyepieces first thing is there is a formula first we have to know the telescope's focal length so it is written here that focal length of this telescope is 600 mm 600 divided by the for example I am taking this 15 mm focal length eyepiece so we have to divide it with 15 mm now when we divide it with the 15 mm then we will get the actual magnification or actual power of this eyepiece so if we divide it with the 15 mm 600 mm divided by 15 mm then we will get the 40 so 40x 40 40x 40 is the power of this eyepiece and so this is a very simple formula now if we take another example then we have sb boni 9 mm eyepiece this is a very sturdy eyepiece but it has different focal length it has 9 mm and the previous one has 15 mm so the power naturally differentiate so again we will take another example Six hundred mm telescopes focal length divided by nine mm eyepiece. This one is nine mm. So we will get sixty-six point six x. So we will get sixty-six point six power magnification lower the focal length of eyepiece that is this the higher the magnification power and the higher the focal length of eyepiece means lower the magnification of eyepiece okay These eyepieces of different focal lengths can be used with different different telescopes having different focal lengths. So it does impact the magnification. So to compare this, I have another eyepiece. I have another eyepiece of 25 mm. So if you compare this 25 mm with 9mm or 15mm then we will know that the power magnification is different in different eyepieces these two eyepieces have more power magnification than this 25mm eyepiece so the higher the focal length of eyepiece means the lower the power of magnification for example if you divide this 25mm eyepiece with focal length of this telescope then 600 focal length of telescope divided by 25 so if you divide this uh, uh, 25 mm 
eyepiece with the focal length of the uh, telescope then we will get a lower magnification this is a simple formula so what we will get we will get 24 so 24 is less than 40 and 40 is less than 66.6 so this but here the focal length of this eyepiece is higher but the magnification power of magnification is lower so this eyepiece is better for uh, using in wide field for deep sky objects deep space objects this one is also very good for deep space objects and this is also used for general use also this one is 9 mm this one is used for basically used for the planetary use this is a wide not wide but this is a high power magnification now let's talk about the angle Both the eyepieces have uh, very nice eye relief eye cups. It has uh, silicone rubber, black color rubber uh, eye cup, and it is for the relief of the observer. This is a very important thing because if we, we if you wear the uh, eye glasses, then you need these uh, eye cups. These eye cups uh, are very soft. So eye relief eye cups are in basically two types, small eye relief and uh, large eye, eye relief or long eye relief. 9mm has small eye relief and 15mm has a long eye relief. This is 9mm eyepiece and the viewing area less. So you need to go closer and closer to the eyepiece to see the object and to see the actual field of view. So that is why the eye relief is uh, small eye relief in this 9mm and in this 15mm it is a long eye relief both are foldable and very nice silicone rubber eye reliefs now let's talk about the coating Both the eyepieces have uh, multi-coated uh, polish over the lenses and this multi-coated polish is very important for the for observing the uh, space objects. These multi-coated polish on the eyepieces are very important for watching the sky objects, space objects. And let's talk about the build quality. Both the eyepieces are made up of uh, metal with rubber, silicone rubber, eye cushions, eye cups and uh, everything is made up of metal and it has back paint from inside to obstruct the light so the build quality is very good and uh, it has a weight around 400 gram, nearly around 400 gram it has a nice grip so the build quality is very nice it has a better quality and the eyepieces are very good to use i am using these eyepieces for watching uh, planetary and deep, deep space objects so you will get uh, details of jupiter you can see four galilean moons also and you can see the cloud bands on, on the jupiter planet you can see the Saturn along with its rings, moon along with the topographical features, craters, uh, small hills and many other features over on the moon. So these eyepieces are very good in quality and the viewing area especially that attracts me that the viewing area is very nice. The viewing area is much larger than the other same focal length eyepieces. So the build quality is better. Now let's talk about the uh, barrel size. So 
so both the barrel size both the eyepieces having 1.25 inch barrel size which is generally accepted by most of the telescope in the world so for example this is neat 70 mm it has you can fit very easily at the back of this telescope that is okay so it has a 1.25 inch um, barrel size so guys i hope you will get some idea about both the ips from sb boni uh, brand and you, you can uh, click on the link given below uh, the video in the details uh, and you can go to the aliexpress website to purchase of both the ips and uh, many other brands from the sb boni both are uh, of good quality and very cheap in price so you can use it and uh, enjoy have a nice day and clear skies